Welcome to Best Fountain Pen. Today we're going to review the Laban Galileo. Um, this is the exterior box that it's shipped in, but I can tell you no pen is more fun to unbox than the Laban. Um, this is my first set of them. I was shipped three at once and all three are incredibly beautiful in their own way. Um, I had a hard time even choosing a favorite amongst those three, but they are beautiful, exquisite uh, pieces of artwork, and this is no exception. I unboxed this literally probably three or four times since I've had it, um, just because it's fun. So I'm gonna unbox it with you so you can kind of see. I'm a geek, I know, but it's just fun to unbox a really beautiful pen when a company takes the time to do what I'm about to show you. So. First, when you receive this lovely pin, you'll take off the top. Ooh, that's exciting. Um, as soon as you open it up, you'll see on the inside, it's got a wrapping of a little bit of foam paper there and tissue under that. But before you get there, you'll see the international warranty card or the warranty card, and you'll also see the little how-to manual of how to fill up your pin with ink and if you have any questions, all those sorts of things. That just makes it really fun. What I really love is the presentation. I don't know how they do this, if everything is boxed by hand or if there really is a machine that can do this, but I'm assuming these are boxed by hand because in order to place this little tiny delicate sheet of tissue paper and paper, that got caught, that was me. <laughs> that was me, I'm sorry Laban. When I opened it, I got caught on the inside of the box one of the many times I was unboxing it. So one of their humans will have to um, reset it with tissue and I'm just tickled that there are people that actually did this. Um, what's cool about it is rather than trying to get it out, oh, isn't that awesome? The flap just comes down with the tissue paper. It just comes down to make it easy to grab the actual gift box. So I know it's dorky, but I, I just really enjoyed it. Um, this is Le, the Le Bon box for the Galileo fountain pen, which I'm about to show you. And it is a beauty. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm excited to open the box for you. So this is what it looks like. See, it's very um, traditional, uh, very modern, not, well, I guess modern more than traditional, but not a lot of labeling or branding. But as soon as you open it, da, 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 it's beautiful. So it says Le Bon, obviously on the inside of the box, it's all felt lined with white. Um, comes with a converter, which is to be expected at this uh, price level of fountain pen. Has a little Le Bon, um, I don't even know what you would call this, but a little, little hang tag um, that you could use however you'd like. But I just thought that was a nice classy touch inside of this beautiful box with the nice hinges. But the part that you've really been waiting for is the Galileo. So let me get rid of the box so that I can show you. So the Galileo, oh, isn't it gorgeous? I mean, have you ever seen anything like it? I had not seen anything like this. That's two layers. Yeah, that's two layers that you're looking at of overlay on top of this fountain pen. So there's a black resin underneath and then you've got kind of a copper toned or copper colored gears um, over that. And then over that is a sterling silver um, plated, like they look like kind of astrology, I guess. That would make sense with Galileo. Um, little constellations or like ways to reach over the gears. I just think it's so intricate and so beautiful and it's really hard for the camera to do it justice in terms of the color variants from the copper to the silver to the black. There's just a lot of depth there that's hard to pick up. I did my best on my website at bestfountainpen.com. There's a link in the show notes below where you can see close-ups of all this stuff too. So if the video is not picking it up well enough, there's a way to see that on my website. So at the end, you get the Le Bon, um, their little brand there that they do on all their pins. It's not little, it's very heavy and um, feels, uh, you know, feels like an expensive pin. But the label itself, the um, branding on the derby cap is heavy. You can feel it inside the pin on the very end of the pen. It's not hollowed out, it's a heavy piece of metal. And then the other side is um, just plain, not domed or anything, just kind of uh, plain blind cap there. It looked like it could be a piston fill just because everything's so plain, but it's not. It's, I showed you the converter and it also came with a cartridge. It has kind of a swoosh or S-shape, gentle S-shape clip. That one's looser than most, um, so it might actually function. Um, but that body on that pen is just amazing. I just love all the gears and constellations. I just think it's it's cool. So anyway, um, what you really care about, right? The nib. 
it's huge. I love it. I love it. So I love the big, huge, oversized nib that um, the Galileo has from Le Bon. So this one is, it says here, Le Bon, medium, iridium tip, obviously. Um, looks like a standard German nib. I don't know if it is, but I'm guessing. And then it also says, huh, I can't see. Good thing that I had my loop out from earlier today because I am guess I'm getting old. It's hard for me to see. I just wanted to find out. Yeah, it's not marked, so it's not gold or anything. I just wanted to find out if it had any other markings on that nib for you, but it doesn't. It's just medium and Le Bon. So, um, but it's gorgeous, and I like the size. I think the scale of the nib against the body is absolutely ridiculously amazing. It's it's a beautiful pen and it is attention getting. I do like that the section that you write with the section here kind of has an hourglass shape. It fits your hand so that your kind of your fingers go directly to where the grip is and it's very comfortable. Sometimes when they're super straight or very wide, your ten, your hand tends to slip around. It's not as comfortable or worse when they're faceted. Sometimes that can be super annoying depending on how ergonomically designed they they carve the facets. Um, this one is just really nice. Um, has a screw cap, obviously you can see that. Um, quite a few twists to get it on, one, two, three, to get it on, two, three, to get it off. Um, so it does post. I know you're gonna ask me that if I don't show you. So um, you it posts very securely. You can't obviously get that off and without pulling it off. Um, but it is heavy. Just keep in mind that if, <laughs> if you're planning on posting, that bad boy is, is really heavy and all the weight is carried here. So um, that little derby cap, I guess, on the end there is solid metal. It feels like brass. And so this whole piece is, is heavier than the rest and so it tends to want to pull out of your hand. Um, I know that most people with the really high-end pens are not posters because they don't want to mar the finish when they post. I am, um, no matter how expensive the pen is, I just like to post it. Um, it. It allows me to look at the full body of the pen while I'm writing with it, but also it keeps the cap from rolling away while I'm writing, which I appreciate. So for all those reasons, I'm a poster, but if you're not, you won't care anyway about any of that. But just for those of you, because I know there are quite a few of us who are posters, that does make a difference. Um, I didn't do research on this, so don't quote me, um, but it looks like they're international shorts. I should have looked it up on their website before um, I recorded the video, but they look like just international shorts that it came with. Um, and the cartridges, they didn't give me a box of cartridges. It was just a one single cartridge within the box that I just showed you, so I don't know, um, but they look like international shorts. So anyway, I know that you're dying to see a writing sample of this beautiful masterpiece of artwork. Again, it's called the Galileo and it's on Le Bon, um, or it's a Le Bon fountain pen. And there's a link to it in the notes below in the description. Uh, but first, take a look at the writing sample. This pen today that we're gonna do a writing sample of is the Galileo fountain pen from Le Bon Pens. Um, I am reusing some of the paper. I really enjoy Claire Fontaine um, graph paper, but I'm gonna reuse the page just so that I don't end up wasting all of this graph paper. So this is the Galileo. I love this fountain pen, just the look of it, the feel of it, everything. Um, I thought that Le Bon had sent me a fine point, medium, and a broad, but they ended up sending me all three, which these are all gorgeous fountain pens. All three are medium nibs, so I apologize. I think I said on one of my other videos for the Canon that I was going to show you fine, medium, and broad because that's what I had asked for, but they ended up shipping all mediums probably because that's what they sell the most of um, in nib size. So anyway, we're going to take a look right now at the Galileo fountain pen from Le Bon and a writing sample from it right underneath the writing sample for the Maya Canon fountain pen. Ah, there's my problem. <laughs> I have used this, I have used an entire cartridge on this one pen because I loved it that much. So we're going to reload, I'll edit that and skip to it and restart a writing sample. I didn't think it was like this pen. I've used it for an entire week um, and it hadn't had any skipping problems so I thought it might have ran out of ink. So anyway, I'm going to skip um, 
for forward, I'll go ahead and edit that out so you don't have to wait for me to change the cartridge. But yeah, sorry about that. I thought um, I thought we were all good. I found it interesting that I used um, supplied cartridges from Le Bon and they're different shades. So I thought that was also interesting, different shades of blue. Um, they weren't marked that way, but I'm gonna grab the cartridge out of the Canon and put it in this pin so you can kind of see the difference. So hang tight. All right, so there you have it, a real writing sample of the Galileo fountain pen from Le Bon fountain pens. Um, this, like I showed you, I had used an entire cartridge of ink journaling and kind of getting used to this pen. I adore the looks of this pen and it writes really well. Um, it's interesting how the different shades show up. Even when I replaced the cartridge, I'm sure it was mixing with the old shade of blue. I do like this darker blue better. It's a little more concentrated. The line width's about the same. It's just the shade of inks. Um, this batch came out a little bit darker from Le Bon in their cartridges they sent me. Um, so I will post a description below and a link to the actual review um, with close-up photographs. So if you'd like to see more on this pen, please go to my website at bestfountainpen.com. Thanks for watching.